So hopefully by now you've started up your smart mirror project and even managed to give it a voice. But now you're starting to realize maybe not all that information should be visible for all audiences stopping by your home or maybe you just watched Project Elizabeth episode 2 and you're wondering how to change the views like I do with voice commands. Let's get to it. I just ruined this today, but more about that in another video. Hey, and welcome back to Hootie Style Channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to have interchangeable views on your mirror with different designs and modules, the way you see fit. And we will make them switch by voice commands. Now, this used to be somewhat more complicated, but once again, our friendly neighborhood developer Bugzunet came to the rescue with his brilliance and something he calls recipes. So I'm going to show you a brief overview on how that works. We will also be using EXT pages, which is Bugzunet's further development of the module MMM pages by developer Edward Shen. EXT pages brings a more modern look and transitions with loads of options. Before we start though, in this video, I assume that you've already watched and followed Project Elizabeth episode eight and that you have MMM Google Assistant and Gateway already installed and running. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should probably start by watching episode eight. And if you still have no idea what I'm talking about in episode eight, you should start with episode five or just watch the whole series. Unless of course you're here to watch my beautiful face. But We've already been through this, and you are welcome to stare as long as you want. Okay, theory time. The idea behind this is to have several views or pages ready and loaded into Magic Mirror so that you can switch between them at your discretion. Each page will have the modules and the layout you prefer, and you can have the same module placed on several pages if you wish. You can also decide to have certain modules always visible independent of the page like for example, the clock. I used to do the page switching with Google Assistant and IFTTT, with the latter catching my voice command and sending a webhook with a magic mirror notification back to my mirror to change the page. This meant that I needed external access to my mirror, a dynamic DNS service, and more importantly, that I was dependent on yet another third party service to work the way it should at that given time. In this case, Google Assistant, IFTTT, and the DNS service. And nothing against IFTTT, but the fewer third party services you involve, the less headache you will have. If you're more interested in what I'm talking about, check out Project Elizabeth episode six. Anyway, things will be slightly more straightforward with the strategy I'm going to show you today. We will be using MMM Google Assistant together with recipes, which are small JavaScript files that we prepare in an if this then that manner. We will decide the custom voice command to trigger the recipe, which also means we can bypass the whole, hey Google activate scenario, blah, blah, blah stuff that is burdening IFTTT after the Google policy change. So yes, fully custom commands on your mirror without any hassle. In steps, we will install ext pages through gateway, make changes to our config.js for ext pages and create a recipe file to perform our page flipping. Once again, your prerequisites are magic mirror, MMM Google assistant and gateway. Mm. Let's get on with it then, shall we let's? So the first thing you need to do is to make sure your Magic Mirror software is running. We are going to log in to our gateway server. So unless the mirror software is running, we're not going to be able to connect, are we? What's wrong with you, stupid? Huh? If you remember the installation process of Gateway back in episode eight, which you of course don't remember, so let me refresh your memory. At 1256, I told you to change the username and password for Gateway. I hope you did so. This is a test platform, so I got admin, admin as credentials with the default port. But don't be a stupido and go and change your password and login name if you already haven't done so. Okay, so once again, make sure your mirror is up and running and start a browser on another device, your PC, Mac, phone, whatever. In the address bar, type the IP address of your mirror followed by colon 
and the port that you defined in your config.js. We've been installing stuff through the terminal and most tutorials so far, even though I've tried to show you the laziest possible ways to do so by, for example, just copy pasting code and pressing enter. Now, however, we're going to do this even lazier with the help of Gateway. So start by logging in and then on the left side menu, press plugin manager. Now, everything on this list is a module made by Bugsunet with his own special EXT prefix. All of these modules can be installed by a couple of simple clicks. Now find the EXT pages prefix and press the install button and then press install again. And watch the magic. And that's it. It's all done. You can go back to the plugin manager and check. The install button is now replaced with a delete button, which means your module is installed. Right, so the next step is to tell our mirror that we have a new module installed. Now we can either use the traditional method and open the module page, scroll down to the example config option code, or we can do this instead. In the plugin manager, just click the configure button and without changing anything, just press save. What happened now is that we've inducted that config code right into our config.js file. It can't get any lazier than that. Maybe we should change our name to Lazy Style Channel. Don't worry, we still got some manual work to do. And I really recommend that you open up the EXT Pages module page for reference anyway, and that you get yourself familiar with Bugsunet's wiki pages. I've put the link to the module page in the video description, which is also very close to that like button and subscription button as well, if you're feeling generous. And why not press the bell icon while you're at it? So let me get you up to speed about some of the EXT pages configuration options in the config.js file. Pages is where we will define our pages or views, their identifiers, and what modules we want on that specific page. For example, just a calendar and complements on page one. Fixed is where we define the modules that we always want visible, no matter which page we activate. For example, you could have your clock visible at all times, without having to define that for each page. To understand hidden pages, we first should talk about how EXT Pages is designed. This module can run your defined pages as a carousel. So going from, let's say, page zero to five, it will auto switch the pages at a user declared interval. That interval is called rotation time and is set in milliseconds. The carousel is not a must and you can disable it by setting the time to zero like I have done here. Now, let's say you do want the carousel but you happen to have a very nosy neighbor who stops by from time to time and you, unfortunately, have some sensitive data about your nether parts on page three. No, 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 the bush. The bush is the biggest. Mm. You want the carousel to do its thing, but you want to skip page three because of obvious reasons. That's where hidden pages comes into play. Define the page that the carousel should skip and that's it. How will you get to page three though and your nether parts information when you need it? We'll get to that good stuff in a minute. At the beginning of this episode, I told you that EXT Pages is a further development of MMM Pages. One of the main strengths of EXT Pages is the freedom of animation choices. Animates and animation time let you decide how you want the modules to show up when switching pages and how fast that animation should happen. There are more options, but to keep this video from becoming a snooze fest, you can check them out yourself in the module page. So with all that said, let me show you some example code here so you can get a better feel for this. As you can see, we have a page zero. You can't skip this. The indexing starts at zero. And on this page, I have defined the newsfeed module and nothing else. Then we have page one, which is essentially our second page. Here I have the calendar and the complements modules. You can just keep going with as many pages as you want. As a fixed module, I have defined the clock so that it will stick around all the time. Under the animate section, I have a bunch of numbers going on. These numbers correlate to a specific animation. The list of animations can be found on the module page and you can check out what each animation looks like by going to animate.style. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Now let's fire up the mirror and check out our setup. 
This down here is a page indicator, and this can be turned off by setting the indicator option to false. As you can see, we are looking at our page zero. The clock is fixed and the news feed is rolling, but we're not getting to page one because we disabled the carousel. Notifications are part of an internal messaging system that Magic Mirror uses to let modules talk to each other. So one module can send notifications to another module, or you could even make a physical button to send notifications to a module. But we are going to use voice commands to send internal notifications. If we check the module page, we can see what notifications the module is accepting and what they do when we call them. I'm going to focus on this first one here. It's called EXT Pages Changed, which can carry a number. This number corresponds to the page number you want to activate. Remember, your first page is called zero. By using MMM Google Assistant, we are going to catch our phrase before it's sent to Google. Let Gateway check if it matches any of our scripts, and if it does, totally skip Google and instead trigger whatever we want to trigger in our script. Isn't that cool? In the Magic Mirror Modules folder, open the MMM Google Assistant folder. Here you will find a folder called Recipes. In this folder, you have some default scripts made by Bugzunet, including one called Recipe Template. Opening this file, you can see the bare bones structure where transcription hooks is pretty much your if and the command section is your then. You can also open the other scripts in the recipe folder to get a better idea of how things work. I'm going to show you a half-baked script for today's purpose and we will fully bake it together. So here we have our half-baked script. Under transcription hooks I have added a section called page 2. This section contains a pattern and a command. The pattern is declared as the exact custom phrase you want the command to be triggered by. Remember, we're stealing the phrase before it reaches Google, so there is no tolerance for varieties in your phrases. It needs to be the exact same phrase you mean to use. Here, go to page two is our trigger. The command part here is just what section that should be run under commands and that's this part. If you remember programming basic on Commodore 64, which you probably don't, but you could write something like go to 10, go to 20, go to 40, you would, yeah, never mind that. Page two will trigger the EXT pages changed notification and the payload will be one. Remember index one is our page two since zero is our page one. Now I have added a third page to our EXT pages in config.js for this example. I want to add a way for us to go to the first page and also a way for us to go to the third page. I'll start with the latter first. Let's go lazy again and do some copy pasting. Then change the names of our ifs and thens accordingly. And also change the payload to two since that's the index number of our third page. Now, that was all too easy. Let's do one more, this time for our first page. We'll start in the same manner with copy paste. Friends of order would want us to paste this section first before the other sections. And so we will, but it will not matter for our script. You can have any order you wish. However, for this part, we have an exception in the payload. As you can see, we have a zero in between quotation marks here. The reason for this is on programming level and a simple zero would cause a null result to be sent. So you would never trigger anything. By putting the zero between quotation marks, you will make it a string and it will trigger correctly. Just trust me on this. All right, one final step and you're done. 
Don't forget to save your recipes in the same folder as the recipe template, by the way. As a last step, we need to add any recipes we have to our config.js. Now go down to your MMM Google Assistant module section and add your recipe between the brackets. I have added a second recipe here just to show you how it looks when you add multiple recipes. Now just save your config.js and that's it. Now let's put our work to test. Jarvis, go to page two. Jarvis, go to main page. Jarvis, go to page three. And there you have it, another Hootie style channel tutorial for you and a big thanks to Bugzunet as always. In the next episode, I'm going to show you some awesome Project Elizabeth stuff for 2023 and more on using less and less third party services, which is always a win. This is Hootie, Hootie style channel, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Hootie style channel.